Hey guys, welcome to day 177 of my carnivore journey. I am still recording daily vlogs um, just to let you know what I eat and how I feel in case some of you are following that. Um, it's like on one hand, I still want to do daily vlogs with you guys. And then sometimes I'm like, do you guys want me to do them? I mean, I know a few of you do, but. But for now, I'm going to keep doing them even some days when they're going to be quick. Uh, tonight's probably going to be one of those quick update nights. Um, today, I didn't have any hot dogs for lunch. I did actually have like a half a bag of pork skins. Uh, it was the same half a bag from the other day. Or was it yesterday? I don't know. It was. I still had them in my work truck. And I just went ahead and had those for when I actually got hungry in um, like two o'clock time frame. And then um, had a chuck steak for dinner, which is uh, right here. But yeah, had the chuck steak for dinner. Um, oh, and I had three eggs and two pieces of bacon. So I don't know. I just was, was kind of got pretty hungry. And I knew that with the chuck steak, it was a little over a pound, but I knew that there was more like gristle on there. I wasn't going to always or necessarily be able to eat. So I ate as much as I could of the steak. Again, there was just really parts left over that I just couldn't eat. Um, and then uh, I topped the steak, of course, with a few tablespoons of butter. The steak was only made with salt. And, of course, the eggs were only made with salt. So I have been getting away from spices. Again, just to clarify the whole spice thing. Again, if you were to eat steak every single day and you had salt, pepper, garlic, and pepper, which is like a very common um, salt, salt, pepper, garlic, right? Uh, those common three things, let's just say. Well... Eventually, as you know, your your garlic and your pepper are plant based, right? So you're going to get a small amount of toxins. They're going to accumulate over time, and your brain will eventually say, "Hey, I'm sick of eating, you know, this the steak every night." But in reality, what your brain is actually saying is, "Hey, I you know, you're giving me something that's got toxins in it, and I need you to change." OK, so remember, it does it doesn't matter about flavor, guys. OK, your body breaks down things chemically. So, yes, garlic and all these things are flavorful. These highly processed foods are more flavorful, really. But again, you can't eat these over and over and over because eventually your brain's like, hey, again, enough with the toxins. OK. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. So if you can just wrap your head around that for a second, right? And understand that when you just have steak with salt, you're eating a steak that's like pure nutrients. There's no toxins in, you know, ruminant red beef for us. It's our appropriate food, right? So you're going to be able to eat steak with salt every single day. And you're not going to get burnt out because your body's like, hey, this is good nutrients. This is good nutrients. There's there's nothing that's going to hold it back from getting food fatigue like you would with, you know, uh, anything else. Okay. Uh, with that accumulation of toxins. So that's why I'm saying for me, I've been cutting back. Okay. So am I completely done with garlic powder and things like that? Not right now. And I'm going to explain something really quick. Um, you guys know that I have, uh, if you're following me and you've been watching some of my videos each day, I there's a lot of things I tell you each day, a little bit of, a little bit of not, um, info every day, right? And you guys know I had a roommate move in this past Friday. Well, my roommate is getting ready to start Carnivore, okay? He's going to be starting a YouTube channel. And he's going to document his journey as well. I, ta I told him, hey, you've got to document your journey. And, you know, I'll, I'll let him explain his situation. But he's a big he's a big guy. And I'm, I'm excited to see his journey. 
But the point is, is that, um, you know, he's going to be at a different place in his carnivore journey. And so, you know, him coming right in from his situation, right into like trying to, trying to jump right in with me where I'm, I've been lately doing a lot more lion style um, diet. You guys notice here lately, I haven't been doing a lot of the extra like cheesiness stuff or carnivore pizzas, things like that. What I'm getting at is that when I make us dinners, because I'm going to be the one kind of cooking for us for the most part, um, I will probably do some fun type foods that are carnivore friendly for him, like carnivore pizzas or maybe trying the carnivore mac and cheese stuff or some alfredo sauce type stuff so i am going to be taking probably some more dairy mac in will this slow my weight loss down and things like that yes it is going to affect my journey but i feel like if i take a half a step backwards for the sake of you know eating some some of these things to help my roommate, I'm willing to do that. And then as he starts to cut back on those things and, you know, as he's able to, then I can get him closer and closer to more of a, just a pure like BBB and E or even a lion diet, you know, fast. And so we both can kind of get back on that same exact wavelength and, and me learning more and more on my knowledge at now, I feel like I can get him faster than I would have then, like for myself. Um, if that all makes sense. Anyways, so I just thought I would try to explain guys coming up, regardless of my way in this this Friday. And by the way, this Friday I have an interview, like I told you, it's scheduled. Uh, my live is going to be Saturday night. So if you want to see my six month results, there, there's going to be on day. Uh, I'll still my do my daily videos, but my special live session that some of you had a lot. We had a blast last time. So if you can Saturday night, probably around, I would say eight or nine o'clock um, Eastern, I'm going to go live. And we will probably talk for who knows hour, hour and a half. I don't know. Like we had fun last time. So, but I'm going to reveal my measurements and my progress and plans and, you know, all that stuff. Anyways. All right, guys. Uh, oh, and like I said, so tonight, what is that? Is that all I had? I think I just had, again, I think I just had the half a bag of pork skins and then I had bacon and eggs and steak tonight for dinner. So pretty good sized dinner and I'm full. I did have two cups of coffee lately. I, I don't know. There's been some of these days I've been drinking two cups of coffee. And I know some of you are like, oh, you need to get rid of the caffeine and blah, blah, blah. I get it. I get it. But I'm only human <laughs> right now. There's only so much I can do. I will. We're getting there, guys. My... I'm getting there. I, it's like, it's so weird because now that I've started to really discover that just salting my steaks for the past week and, and leaving out the garlic and, and the pe peppers, it's like, holy crap, my meat. I've been looking forward more and more to my meat. It's, it, it's crazy how that works. You would think you would want spices to soup it up. But but by cutting back the spices, you actually start to increase your desire for steaks. It's it's, re it's weird, but it works. So it's like I, I can see myself really pushing toward a lion diet and not getting sick of that in the future. But again, with my roommate here, I don't want to just thrust him right into that and then have to make completely separate dinners all the time for both of us like well you know so i feel like it's fine i'm gonna spend probably a month having some variety cooking some variety um and but you you guys will see what i'm talking about but anyways it was good 
good. Um, I always enjoy coming on here. If you still want daily vlogs, I know a couple of you um, like them. Let me know because again, I I don't know if I if I may get to a point where we just start doing a weekly. But then I I do actually kind of miss you guys. If if I start to panic, like if it gets too late. Like, like the times when I've had to miss a day and then like record the next morning or something and post late. I, I kind of feel bad. Like I miss you guys and I um I feel like I feel like that accountability of of doing the daily vlog does keep me going as well. I, I mean, I'm I'm saying like if I was to end, like if, if for some reason my YouTube account was shut down. Like I still would continue with Carnivore. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm kind of at that point now, especially with like being almost six months. But what I am saying is, is that it still helps. It still is a comfort to have you guys around and to hear your comments. And some of you regularly comment on my videos. Um, some of you pop in every once in a while. But no matter what, um, it's just good to see you guys and 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 to interact with you all. So, all right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. We're inching closer. Um, I haven't peaked. I don't know what's going to, I don't know what to expect in the scale because I, I did have some dairy a little more recently, but then I have also been sort of going to more lion diet, diet style here lately. So I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I feel like I may have stalled a little bit, but it's hard to go by feeling. So that's why I'm just going to wait and see what the measurements and the scale is going to be. So, but anyways, all right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Bye.